I graduated in the top 1% of my university and I did that by doing two things. Number one, I was very disciplined. I had a non-negotiable study routine that I started at 6 a.m. every morning. But more importantly, number two, I studied smarter rather than harder. I studied more efficiently. I studied how the brain processes and retains information. Therefore, I was able to memorize huge amounts of information very quickly before my exams. For decades, the art of speed learning hasn't really changed. It was all about processing and retaining information using memory techniques such as advanced information processing, active recall, the Feynman technique. However, in the beginning of 2023, so this year, AI completely changed how we learn. And now, if you combine speed learning with artificial intelligence, you'll be a learning machine if you know how to utilize AI properly, whether you're memorizing course content for an exam at school or university or learning a new language, you'll have a huge competitive advantage. Speed learning can be summarized in a three-step process. The first step is information capture. So reading textbooks, listening to podcasts, going to lectures. Step two is information processing. So how are you writing down or recording this information? And step number three is information recall. For example, during an exam, you have to dig deep into your memory and pull out the relevant information. So let's start with step number one, information capture. So this is where you collect the information from lectures, from books, from podcasts, whatever format is more suitable. But here's the important part. You want to be very selective with the information that you actually capture. So I use Notion AI as my main AI assistant. Notion's AI assistant helps you think bigger and work faster. Notion have sponsored this video, but I've been using Notion every single day for more than three years now. It is without question the most important productivity app that I use. I used to use ChatGPT a lot. In fact, I would think I was paying $20 a month for ChatGPT for like two or three months, but Notion AI is just more accessible and integrated into my workspace already. And like I say, I use Notion every single day, multiple times a day. So I don't need to constantly hop between my notes and separate AI powered tools. And in Notion, your data is not used to train any AI model without your consent, unlike ChatGPT. So back to speed learning, one of the most useful ways Notion AI speeds up my learning is by summarizing books articles and essays. If I'm researching a topic and reading research papers or articles or books or essays, I usually don't have to read the entire thing, right? It would be far too consuming. So I have a research paper here on speed learning that I found on Google Scholar. And it's quite a long paper, 30 pages long, and it's very technical too. So I don't want to read the whole paper. I don't have time. So I can copy all the text. I won't include the references because I don't need them. And then I can paste the article into Notion. I right click and I select Ask AI and it gives me a list of tasks that it can do for me. I'll choose Summarize and within seconds it summarizes the whole 30 page paper, saving me a good 20, 30 minutes. Being able to understand the content that you're learning is arguably one of, if not the most important component when it comes to speed learning. If you don't actually understand something, it will take you exponentially longer to memorize it. I think it was Richard Feynman that said, you haven't really understood something unless you can explain it like a five-year-old, right? So just to make sure that I really do understand the summary that Notion AI has made for me, I can give it the command, I don't understand this paragraph, please rewrite it so that a five-year-old can understand it. And it rewrites it in even simpler terminology. Extracting the 20% that matters. You don't need to know everything in a book to get a good grip on a subject. Notion AI can help you identify the 20% of the information that will move the needle more than anything else. It's the Pareto principle, right? The 80-20 rule. Because at the end of the day, when you read a book, you might come away with five or 10 golden nuggets from that book, 
The rest is just kind of context and generally just fluff, right? So by extracting the 20% of the golden nuggets in a book, you can save yourself a lot of time. In Notion, I just hit the space button for the Notion AI command box to pop up and type the prompt. Based on the 80-20 principle, what 20% of concepts in the book Key Person of Influence by Daniel Priestley would give me 80% of the overall understanding? Please concisely explain the concept. Now, this is what's interesting. I've already read this book. I read it a few months ago and I've already taken notes on it on what I believe to be the most important parts of the book. And the key points that Notion AI took from the book also matched some of the key points that I wrote down in my own notes. So it's not just picking out random points, but it's genuinely extracting the most powerful, impactful concepts and ideas from the book. Step two is information processing. And step two, I feel, is the most important step out of all of these three steps. Information processing basically refers to how the brain organizes and absorbs the information that you've captured. It's like your brain's way of processing and making sense of things that you've learned. And my favorite strategy for information processing, and I've been doing this for more than a year now, is using a knowledge bank. I realized that whenever I listen to a two hour podcast, I might just actually remember and process about five or six, what I call golden nuggets of information. The small chunks of information that really resonate with you, that are actually impactful. So essentially, I created a database where I store all of these golden nuggets and over a period of a year I essentially have this massive database of the most important impactful nuggets of information that I've learned. I call it the knowledge bank and it's a very simple table in Notion where I have four columns, the review column which I can tick and untick and this column is helpful for when I review the information at the end of the month to keep track of what I have learned and what I haven't learned. The second column is the headline so I put the most important information information here in just one summarized sentence. The third column is what area in my life it relates to. So for you, it could be what subjects you're studying at school or university. And the fourth column is the source in case I want more context or I want to reread or rewatch or re-listen to the original source. I'm really interested in making my life as productive and efficient as possible, including my learning processes. And I was thinking about this a few months ago, actually how much useful, really important information I've learned, but then I've forgotten, right? But the knowledge bank has helped me so much with this. And Notion is great for both collaboration too. So if you did want to create a knowledge bank with a friend and you both kind of add the golden nuggets to it, I think that's a really nice idea too. Brainstorming counter arguments. It's increasingly important to challenge your, your own views and kind of get out of your head. We all think and behave in a certain way because we're all products of our environment at the end of the day. But I think that it's, it's really important to occasionally at least step out of that bubble and read and listen and learn about views that maybe you don't necessarily agree with. And Mark Manson made a really good video on this, the idea being that in order to become successful, you need a powerful idea that no one else or very few other people have thought of. If you actually wanna be more successful than 99% of people, you have to, one, have a contrarian idea. So building on the idea of contrarianism, it can be advantageous to examine alternative perspectives to help you have a fresh point of view in a particular topic. And this is because creativity and innovation often stem from embracing viewpoints that differ from conventional wisdom. A notion AI users can prompt the system to generate novel ideas that deviate from prevailing thinking in a specific field of innovation. So here's an example prompt. Give examples that contradict the dominant narrative of why procrastination is a bad thing. Generate an outline for topics with some description that challenges assumptions. And then it gives me examples of how procrastination can actually be a good thing, such as procrastination helps you rest and recharge. It can help you be more creative because you're more well rested and it can help with reducing stress as well. So you can see how Notion AI is challenging the mainstream narrative and arguing that sometimes, sometimes procrastination can be a good thing. Step three, information recall. Information recall refers to your ability to remember and retrieve the information that you've learned quickly and accurately when you're taking a test or an exam, for example. So if you've ever sat in an exam hall doing an exam and you're answering a question, but your mind goes blank, having good information recall prevents 
prevents that from happening. And one way is by creating flashcards. It's super easy to create flashcards with Notion AI. I have here the same 30 page research paper that I used earlier in the video. And I hit space, click ask AI and use the command, write me 10 flashcards on the 10 most important points of this article. And again, I don't have to read the whole article. I just have to read the 10 points that it gives me, therefore saving me a lot of time because that would take me a long time to read this 30 page research paper. And I also combine this with spaced repetition. With the flashcards, it's good to learn the flashcards every one or two days to keep them fresh in your memory. So when the exam does come around the corner, you'll be able to recall the information very quickly. So let's say that you want to build a learning plan or a study plan to manage your time more effectively. Well, let's see what Notion AI can come up with. I use the prompt, as a student, I would like to create a schedule for my study that will help me manage my time effectively. Can you please create a table for me that outlines my study schedule? And then I'll give you a bit more information like the days and the dates and the time slots for studying and subjects to study during each time slot and just so it can give me a bit of a more comprehensive table. So the table would still need some editing and modifying, but it's a good base, a good foundation to start building up from. Speed learning is crazy, crazy, crazy important when it comes to getting better grades at school or university. If you don't wanna be studying 12, 13, 14, 15 hours a day, often studying six hours or seven hours of super focused studying is enough to get even very high grades. And if you sprinkle some AI into the mix, then you'll be unstoppable. So if you do wanna try Notion or Notion AI, you can get started with Notion for free and unlock unlimited AI for only $10 a month. I'll drop a link in the description below. And if you liked this video, I've got an entire playlist on speed learning, essentially how to memorize information faster. You can click on the playlist on the screen to watch those videos.